What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar, undefeated, the phenom, as I refer to him as, Jerron Boots Ennis, who is 32 wins, no losses, no draw, 29 wins by way of knockout. Jerron Boots Ennis seems to have a new opponent, but he's not really new. He's a familiar opponent, right? And he comes in the form of Chua Corazanian. I believe that's how you say his name. Never could truly say his name, right? And uh, the IBF, International Boxing Federation, better known as the IBF president, Mr. Darrell Peoples, are making Chua Corazin, Jerron Boots Ennis's mandatory. And it looks like they have the venue in Philadelphia on hold once again as Jerron Boots Ennis has newly signed to Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and DeZone, and he just fought David Avenesian in Philadelphia uh, at um, where the Philadelphia 76ers play, right? And he got a knockout victory, okay? And um, Jerron Boots Ennis is a phenom, right? Talented, switched from Southport to Orthodox. He's big, five foot 10, 74 inch arm reach, right? And Jerron Boots Ennis, he fought Kareem Chua Karzin back in uh, January of 2023 and won a decision. And a lot of people had a lot of criticism for Jerron Boots Ennis after that fight. And Chua Karzin is was undefeated at the time. Now he's 24 wins, two losses, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout. Um, and, well, he had a loss already, one loss going into the fight. And he's picked up three wins, uh, two knockouts and a, and a decision since the loss to Jerron Boots Ennis, right? So now they're ordering him, Jerron Boots Ennis, to rematch him. At this point in time, the welterweight division is producing absolutely nothing for Jerron Boutenis. Absolutely nothing. At this point in time, it's producing nothing. We have the WBC champion. Since Terrence Bud Crawford, he inherited Jerron Boutenis as his mandatory. And then uh, he vacated the belts because he had a media rematch clause with Errol Spence. And then the fight didn't come through. And then Terrence Crawford moved up to welterweight. So he vacated the belt, and Mario Barrios is the WBC welterweight champion. Amanda Stanionis is the WBA welterweight champion. Um, and Brian Norman Jr. is the WBO welterweight world champion. And obviously, Jerron Boutinis is the IBF. But it just seems like, I believe the only guy that would give him the opportunity for a unification bout and make a fight would be Brian Norman Jr., Everybody else, Stanionis, Mario Barrios, they claim to want to give him the fight, but I don't believe that they'll do the fight. Stanionis, I ain't seen him in action in forever. Mario Barrios looks like he on the verge of fighting Devin Haney. I believe at this point in time, it's, it's time for Jerron Boutin to just go ahead and move up. If he can't get the Brian Norman fight after Chua Karzin, and it looked like that fight gonna happen in November, uh, the venue, and the date has been secured in Philadelphia for November for Jerron Ennis versus Karen Chua Karzine and a rematch because people complained about the fight, which I'm not opposed to it, but it just does nothing for him in his career. 27 years old with 32 fights. He doesn't have a marquee fight. And this is the fight that can give him a marquee fight, right? After you beat David Avenesian, you know, it's like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That that should have been the last of these types of fights for Jerron Boutinis. But uh, here we are again, once again. So uh, I think that, you know, at this point in time, use his leverage as the IBF champion and make yourself the mandatory for, you know, uh, the winner of Tim Zhu versus uh, um, uh, um, Bakram Matalia versus Tim Zhu. They're going to fight in October. Make yourself the mandatory for that fight. That's what I think he should do, period. And, and move up to 154. You make yourself the mandatory for that fight. 
you fight Chua Karzine, you satisfy the IBF, and then make yourself the mandatory for Tim Zhu, uh, uh, um, Bakran Matalia fight, and then you know, um, then you put you force a Errol Spence fight, a Terence Crawford fight, Fedora fight, the big fights at 154. Jamel Charlo at 147 is producing absolutely nothing for Jerron Boutenis, in, in my opinion, just nothing. He's wasting his time there. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. He can, you know, fight uh, Karen Chua Karzine and, you know, uh, just, you know, make a statement against him. But, again, it does nothing. Man, make sure y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. I'm gone. Peace.